Hi everyone, it's Erin Peliquin from Digital Photography for Moms. I recorded this quick video to show you how to use layer groups in Photoshop Elements. Now our layer groups have been around in full Photoshop forever, but they are a relatively new addition to Elements. Um, in fact, they weren't available in Photoshop Elements until Elements 15, which came out just a few years ago. So layer groups are a great way to organize your layers and speed up your workflow. You'll know if you do any intense editing at all that your layers panel can really stack up, right? You've got so many layers, you don't know what's where, you can't find the layer you need when you need it without doing a lot of searching for it. So you can use layer groups to kind of put these layers into individual drawers and just pull them out when you need them. So to create a layer group, you first want to come up with your strategy for which layer goes in which group. And for me, I usually put my edits that are similar together. For instance, all of my exposure edits, all of my color correcting edits, or in this case, all of my skin retouching edits. So these three layers are the layers that I use to retouch her skin in this photo. So just to show you, I started with this before and with all of these layers, now this is my after. So to create that before and after, by the way, I hold down my Alter Option key on my keyboard and then click the eyeball on my background layer. So that's the before because it turns off all of the layers above it. And then I hold down Alter Option again to turn the layers back on. So I selected these three layers that are my skin retouching layers. To select them all at once, I can click on one of them and then hold down the Shift key and click on the last one. Or I can select layers that aren't contiguous like those three by holding down Control or Command as I click. So I'm just going to select these three and then I'm going to go right up here to create a new group. And so you can see right away that I've got group one. I'm going to go ahead and double click it to rename it. Now I'm going to create a couple of more groups here just to continue organizing my layers. So these are my eye edits. These are my dodging and burning layers. And then these two are my creative edits. So now that I've got these four groups, I can do any number of edits to all of the layers in a group at once. For instance, I can turn off my creative edits to leave me with a clean edit. So there it is with the creative and there it is without. Or if I think, oh, my creative edits are too strong, I can go over here and reduce the opacity to tone down that strength a little bit. Same for skin retouching. I could turn that off turn it back on, I could reduce the opacity, I could even change the blend mode if I wanted to. Now this will probably look kind of funny, but I could do it if I wanted to. Now note that I can still adjust the individual layers within the groups. So if I were to open the skin retouching group by clicking on it, then I could go and adjust this layer or this layer. I could paint on this layer mask. I could do whatever I needed to do with the individual layers. Or if I have the folder selected, then I can adjust all of the layers at the same time. And again, to open or close a group, you simply click on this arrow right there on the layer panel. Now you can also add a layer mask to a layer group. So you can see that I've got skin retouching selected and I'll just go right here and click on my add a layer mask button. And now I've got a mask that applies to all of the layers within the group. So it's important to know since I've already got one layer mask within this group, I can't reveal more on this layer unless I actually edit the individual layer. So you can see that everything is white on this layer mask. That means that everything that's visible in these three layers is visible in the group. What I can do is paint in black on the mask to hide everything in these three layers. So I could grab my black paintbrush, make my brush really big, change my paintbrush color to black, 
and then I could hide the retouching just from her face if I wanted to. Or I can type Command or Control Z to undo my edits. I could reduce the strength of the edit maybe just on part of her face. And you can see now I've got kind of a gray area hiding my retouching just from this area of her forehead. So you can remove edits using the group layer mask, but you can't add edits that you've already added using white on a layer mask below. All right, I'm going to go ahead and undo that painting by typing Command or Control Z. I'm going to collapse this group to make it smaller, and I wanna show you a couple of other tips. First off, a great way to organize your edits is to right click on any layer group and then assign a color to it. So some people, for instance, always make maybe their skin retouching layers red, and you could make all of your creative edits violet or whatever color works for you. So that way you've got this additional visual cue that shows you where you need to go to make the adjustment your photo needs. Now you can also apply these same colors to an individual layer if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be just a layer group. Now, if the layer group is not working for you for whatever reason, you can right click on it and select ungroup layers. And that simply takes the layers out of the group and deletes the group. Or undoing what I just did, you've got the option to delete the group. But be careful with this because you can either delete just the group or you can delete the group and the contents, everything in it. So if you click this, you're going to also delete all of those layers that you worked so hard to complete. Instead, if you select group only, it's the same as ungrouping. You take the layers out of the group and you remove the group and are left with the layers. All right, guys, so this has been a short tutorial on using layer groups in Photoshop Elements. Remember that it only works on Elements 15 and later. If you have any questions at all, visit my website at digitalphotographyformoms.com and leave a comment or send me an email and I will help you if I can. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.